If you want to like really break down his striking, all you have to say is Strickland is just going to walk forward and punch you in the face. That's all you gotta say. This video is sponsored by DraftKings. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got UFC 293 going down this Saturday. Sean Strickland versus the man, the champ, Izzy Adesanya. And we're gonna be breaking down Sean Strickland's striking ability. If you wanna check out Izzy Adesanya's striking ability, it is amazing. Go check that out on the channel. Let's get into the video. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? Hey UFC fans, we've got a good one going down in Australia this weekend. Adesanya will be stepping into the octagon to defend his title against Sean Strickland. Does he have what it takes to win it all? Make your picks on the fights this weekend official with my partners over at DraftKings Sportsbook. New customers who bet just $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's right, new customers will instantly receive $200 in bonus bets when they bet just $5 on any of this weekend's fights. Stay in on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. The more bets you combine, the more you can win. DraftKings is the only place where you can bet same fight parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry, you can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. DraftKings is offering huge UFC contests this weekend with massive cash prizes up for grabs. UFC 293 is going to be a sick card. Main event, Adesanya versus Sean Strickland. I'm going from a man, Adesanya. Who you got? So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WONDERBOY and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WONDERBOY only at DraftKings. Now, my man Sean Strickland is probably one of the best strikers in the middleweight division. He has beat some really, really good guys and finished some really good guys. You guys that are familiar with this channel and these breakdowns, you know what I like to look at. Number one, footwork. Two, timing. Tres, variety of technique and Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Distance management. We're gonna start off with footwork. I'm looking at his ability to be able to move forward, backwards, side to side, and the ability to switch sides. This dude stands up straight, he walks forward, and he puts his fists and feet upside your face. That's his footwork, that consists of his footwork. Now, I don't know what it is, but the guy makes it work. I mean, I'm all about some movement. I'm all about moving side to side, forward and backwards. This dude's got one direction, and that is forward. He literally stands up straight and he plods forward. He'll slide back every now and then. He'll switch sides every now and then. But most of his footwork is just him walking forward. Literally walking forward. Not even in a fighting stance. Sean Strickland is a very good fighter. But he doesn't have a whole lot of good movement. He really doesn't. So I would say his footwork gets a... C minus. I don't want to give anybody a D, okay? But his footwork isn't really there. I mean, I would say a C minus, all right? Moving on to timing. Now, what am I talking about when I'm talking about timing? Well, the ability to be able to see your opponent's mistake. Maybe they swing and miss, and you capitalize on that mistake. Or you strike your opponent at the same time while they're striking, which is super, super hard. Now, this is where I think Sean Strickland is above everybody else. His timing is so good, especially in a distance to where most people aren't that good with their timing, he stands right in front of his opponent in a boxing range and he dukes it out right there. He's got an amazing jab, one of the best jabs in the division. And while you're trying to counter that, he'll counter you. He's got an amazing right hand, a weird right hand. He'll throw his jab, wait for you to counter, and it'll come over top of whatever punch that you're throwing. And it's almost like a downward motion. He'll punch downward on top of you, hitting you in the face, hitting you in the side of the ear, dropping you or dazing you. The guy's timing is so good. He also does this thing where he'll lead with his right hand and as you try to counter that right hand he'll dip underneath whatever you're throwing and come up with a left hand and smoke you in the face great timing from Strickland I give Sean Strickland an A plus in timing still working on my vocals 
Moving on to a variety of techniques. What am I talking about? Well, number one, the ability to switch sides. Gotta have that ability to switch sides. It's gonna allow you to throw more technique because you're able to switch sides. Two, the ability to be able to throw your techniques from awkward angles. And three, the amount of technique that you are able to throw. Now, Sean Strickland is fairly basic when it comes to his striking. He'll throw his punches, basic punches. He'll throw a spin back fist every now and then, a flying knee. What he's good at is putting his hands and feet together. Now, even though he doesn't have a huge variety of techniques, he puts it together very well. If he's kicking, he's always following up with his hands. If he's throwing hands, he'll follow up with his kicks. And like I said, every now and then he'll throw a spinning technique, but he's so good at those few techniques, that's why he's like risen above everybody else. But once you get to an opponent that has slightly more techniques, such as Alex Pereira or Izzy Adesanya, that's when you're gonna start running into some walls there. But his variety of technique, it could be more. I would like to see him throwing some more technique side kicks, spin kicks every now and then. Being able to use his angles with that I think would help him a lot as well. So his variety of techniques, I give him a C. Next up we have distance management. The ability to be able to fight your opponent at different ranges. So you have like long range striking such as myself. I like to keep the fight at a longer range than most people. But then you have what we call kickboxing range. So that's a range where you're able to put your hands and feet together, keep them at kicking distance. We have boxing range where you have your opponent at punching distance, and then of course, close range, where you got the elbows, you got the knees. When I think of Sean Strickland, I think of his kickboxing range and his boxing range, which is where he's very, very good. He will sometimes get in very close range, but that's not what he's known for. If he wants to take a breather, he'll keep guys at his front kick distance, his kickboxing range. He's a lot longer than most people at that division. So he keeps guys at his most powerful range, right? Where is your strength at whenever you're throwing a strike? It's at the very inch. You know when you bench press, it's very difficult when it's close, but right when you get to those last three to four inches, it's boop. It's easy. You can straighten your arms out fairly easy. He's really good at keeping guys in his punching range. That boxing range is where he lives. He wants to be in your face. He wants to eat your space. He wants to tire you out with volume. He's kind of like a Nate Diaz or a Nick Diaz. And they're not hard punches. They're just relentless, which breaks guys down. So he loves that boxing range. And at his farthest out, he keeps his opponent at kicking range. So he'll teep you. He'll throw his front kicks. But when he's really serious and when he's really dangerous is in that boxing range. That's where he puts people to sleep. That's where he's slipping and moving and uppercutting you, hooking you, hitting you with that jab, that accurate freaking jab. Now you do see him get into a close range as well. He'll get inside, he'll throw a little bit of elbows, but from there he'll break out and keep you in his boxing range, which is where he's phenomenal. If you wanna like really break down his striking, all you have to say is Strickland is just gonna walk forward and punch you in the face. That's all you gotta say. Sean Strickland, I think his distance management is, I would say, a B minus. It's not too crazy, but what he does works for him. Now, there you have it, guys. A Sean Strickland striking breakdown. Hopefully, you'll be checking the fight out this weekend. I think it's gonna be a great fight, especially the smack talk that's gonna lead up to the fight. Do I think Izzy Adesanya will win? Yes but I think it's gonna be an exciting fight. I wanna see Strickland go out there and do his best to at least give him a run, right? I don't wanna see a first round finish. I want him to go out there and put it on him. But I do think Izzy Adesanya is gonna win this fight. Let me know who you think is gonna win this Saturday UFC 293. Love y'all, catch y'all next time.